Hello YouTube, this will be my second review. I am reviewing the Cloudform Mini and the Trident RDA. And that was courtesy of you can read it. Canada EGs. These guys are awesome. So when we first take a look at this, great unit. I got it in black. Comes in a nice box. It's actually pretty good though. Open it up. And you get your VIP card that you'll register online. So instruction book, battery one and such. A velvet bag. You got your placement screws. The magnets. In this handy little case, and you won't lose anything. Your famous little blue screwdriver. Use of this handy tractable charger. Great, real good charge on it. I usually keep it in here. Obviously, this is for the actual unit. And this amazing little beast. Thing is great. Got a charging on the bottom with pass through technology on it, which is handy, especially if you're sitting at a computer desk or your workstation or whatever it may be. So Talk about this. I have the Sony 30 amp high output 18650 in here, which is a perfect battery for it, obviously, since this is the mini, which is only a 30 amp capacity. And it's got this great magnet back for it. Like, I mean, it's great. I don't like it. Can you hear that? Great. It's a stronghold too. A lot of other people were posting that their back door is wiggly and like it doesn't stay on straight and stuff like that. Mine is like nice, but you definitely want to check out what you're buying, of course. You don't want to just buy the first box I hand you. The only thing that I want to complain about is that the charging port, if you can tell, isn't pr isn't properly lined up. It's a fraction diagonal than what it was supposed to be. So, turn it on. There we go. Core, then. Right now, I'm vaping at 25 watts at. 0.53 volts and the coils that I've built for this special little RDA, which is a great RDA. I mean, like, great. The rings on this are intense. It's got one big hole for the duo. You can see that. And it's got three smaller holes on the outside so that if you're running a dual coil like that him, beautiful 0.65 ohm dual coil, organic cotton, nothing special like all these fancy guys with all the Japanese cotton and stuff. This comes in three pieces. It's got a pretty nice solid mouthpiece on it. Man. Pretty solid. It doesn't get too hot because this thing can get pretty hot. 
which it doesn't get pretty hot. I mean, it gets pretty warm if you're continuously vaping on it, but if that's the case, then you're probably burning your wick as well. Um, I don't know, let's just give you a quick little sample break here. It blows some pretty nice pads. Well, I'm, I'm about three, four feet away from the camera, so... Pretty nice vape. Fires very well. The power output on this unit itself is actually pretty good. I'm really surprised at what I got with this because I didn't really expect it to perform this well. And the build on it, this build, it's solid. It's not like it's not like something like this where it's solid because it's a mech mod, but it's not solid because like, this is electronic, obviously. Like, gives me my ohms, volts, blah, blah, blah. Great unit. This is pretty good. I tried it with the, the Sony battery in the 1850 high output. And this just doesn't vape as well as I'd like it to on this. This is a great unit. It buys for any. Tried an RDA. It is your medium. I would, I would class this RDA. At a, uh, at a medium, just like a medium level. It's a real pain in the ass because the only thing that's a downfall about this RDA itself is uh, those screws, they come with caps. And if you can see, the caps just don't want to sit right. I've spent so much time trying to get them to sit perfectly, perfectly, you know, I spend a lot of time trying to make good, nice looking builds and stuff like that. Especially because this is a great unit. It's kind of nice to take care of it. And just re this one. So yeah, it's a maximum of 7... 7 volts output. Continuous. And... It has a maximum of 30 watts output. But, yeah, 30 watts out. I love this thing. It's great. It's a really good deal. I already know the next one I'm going to get, so there'll be another video on that. Okay, great unit. Advice for anyone who uh, wants to, sorry, wants to get into the high voltage, high watts get into your cloud chasing. I'm still, I'm not amazing at cloud chasing. I'm still working on doing a bunch of different things and coils and stuff like that, but this is a dual coil, one piece of wire, like passive. Do your regular coil build with a bunch of extra, lay it in, screw down to one negative terminal, lay it across your positive, lay down that terminal, and then wrap it around the RDA. Like, it's kind of, a, it's kind of tough, but, you know, it is what it is. You get into it the more you do it. This one was, uh, this is my first parallel coil. I can't really see it all that well, but. And this is on the Phoenix RDA. Great little thing. You gotta reduce it all the time, but. Yeah, I'm just going to blow another huge cloud of um, 117 by Canada E-Juice in Oshawa. Those guys are great. You can go in there and, you know, hang out. Try a couple of good flavors. Pretty nice guys. Really knowledgeable. They'll answer any questions you have. They'll even sit you down and show you some tips and stuff like that. Guys, the former Rebo shirt is cool. 
So I can even turn it up a little bit just because this flavor burns really well here, but I can still get more flavor out of it. That's like five, five volts. I like five three five. Yeah, this is the Cloud Four Mini. Hope you guys have a great day. Vape bonds stay strong. Smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now. Yeah, I took that from you, Rip Drippers. Check him out too. He's got sick videos. Anything you need to know, he's definitely got a video on it. Vape on.